guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very special one. We're going to do a speed review for all the makeup that we have tried in the month of January. I'm going to talk about all the new makeup that I tried. Not all the months are going to be like that. This was definitely like a PR heavy month and I purchased a few products. So if you guys want to see what I really feel about these makeup, then please keep on watching. Okay, let's start off with the thing that I absolutely loved and that is from Wicked Widow Beauty and this is their scissor hand two palette if you love greens and blues i mean this palette is for you like this is such a beautiful color story and this is so vibrant so beautiful on the eyes like really 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 pretty the only thing if i have to like pick and choose like only thing that i would say i would have chose like one of the greens out of this palette but otherwise the quality the blendability everything is at par excellence with this palette like you will definitely not be disappointed in the future videos i really want to like mismatch the shades like rearrange the shades of this palette and make it like my own i feel like i can do so much more this is the palette actually on my eyes i actually did another look like before filming this video which is like soft monochromatic pink look but then i like just to revamp that look using this palette i use scars on my outer corners i have this shade razor sharp all over my eyelid that's what you see and then i have the bogs on my inner corners and that's mainly using this palette i have a few more palettes with me which i'll explain my look uh, but this palette is so beautiful let me let me swatch a few shades for you just so that you see like the vibrancy and there's like different formulas in this palette too the mattes the shimmers everything i mean i only swatched one matte the mattes the shimmers everything is like so beautiful and so dimensional oh my in love in love with this palette and there are different textures i don't know if you can see it or not the fourth shade that you see here is like a topper shade and then the middle shade that you see is like an iridescent multi-chrome shade that shifts to a pink to a blue and you can totally see this multi-chrome which is like a blue to a sagey green to a golden shade and this matte look at this matte how beautiful it is and this is also like a duochrome it's so pretty, so pretty. Like you definitely need to love uh, multi-chromes and vibrant shades and greens, blues, pinks and purples to love that palette. But if you love this color story, just jump onto it. I actually did like five looks. Is it five looks or three looks? I did like several looks using this palette on my channel. I'll link it in the icons above for you guys. I have loved this palette and I've done like several shots with this palette. Today I'm wearing another like look with this palette. I've done like a very simple look for my office uh, using this palette. Like as soon as you see this palette, you would be like, oh, how can you wear this to office? But trust me, I wore this all over my eyelid and I tapped this on top of it. That was such a stunning look. Another look that I did was like with mansion and this. So beautiful. You can definitely pair this and this for like an all matte look. The possibilities are endless with this and I love it. The only shades that I said was like towards like the mauve pinky side. That's just because that's my comfort zone. But you can definitely do like more green looks, blue looks. I've done like, like various styles of looks on my channel. I'll link it. Talking about vibrancy. This palette would be right up your alley if you love colorful mattes which are super blendable and super punchy. I'm going to talk about It's Bell Cosmetics Fruity Realm Palette. This is an $18 palette and I would say do not think twice if you want this palette because this vibrancy, it's more like neon shades on the eyes. It's so vibrant, so punchy. I actually have this on my crease. I have this on my lower lash line. That's what I have from this palette today on my crease and on my lower lash line. It's so beautiful, guys. It's so, so, so beautiful, so punchy. Again, I've done like two looks using this palette on my channel and this was stunning, absolutely stunning to play with. And this paired with the other multi-chrome palettes that they already have in their collection, it's just the cherry on the cake. Would highly, highly recommend this. And you can use the code Smithy Sony with all the palettes that I'm gonna to talk today, except one, and I'll tell you. I have the code with It's Bell Cosmetics, 
Wicked Widow Beauty Sugar Drizzle and Ladybug Glow. Uh, so feel free to use my code. It is an affiliated code. So I would also save some money when you are saving some money. So yeah, do keep that in mind, but it is no necessity at all. But this palette is truly amazing. So yeah, definitely, definitely a must have if you are into neons and if you don't want to spend so much like money on like a neon palette, this is the way to go. Now let's talk about a cream contour, which I, after using several different times, I feel like this is a hassle to use. And I'm talking about the Flower Beauty Low Light Contouring Wand. Now, will I use it? Yes. Can I make it work? Yes. I know it's a drugstore product, but this is too much of fuss. It's too much of fuss. Even when I applied it for the first time, this the problem with this is it dries really, really quick. So if you just put those dots and just walk away, or if you start talking to some person, if you're recording, it will dry up and then it's like a pain to blend. But if you blend it super quickly, it blends really nicely. I have the shade deep with me. I'm not a big fan of the packaging too. I don't like products sitting on top of that sponge. I am a very acne prone skin. No matter what, when you're squeezing it, you're your cap is gonna get dirty and I do not, do not like looking at that. <laughs> and that's the only reason I'm very nitpicking, only because I have several cream contours in my collection which work like a dream. I love the LYS one, I love the M Cosmetics one, I even love the ELF one. I do not like this packaging at all and the formula I feel definitely can be tweaked to make it like more blendable, not so much drying. Yeah, I was not a big big fan of it. Is it like the worst product that I've ever tried? No. But is it the best product that I've ever tried? No. So that's my two cents on this. But on the contrary, I also tried this Flower Beauty highlighting one. This I like 10 times better than the contouring wand for sure. This is in the shade Opal. Again, not a big fan of the packaging because it gets dirty, but this is better. I feel like because it's like a champagne shade, it doesn't like eat me out, but because of that brown shade, it definitely feels like dirty. This blends really nicely, but, but again, this is not like my favorite, favorite thing. I would prefer like a powder highlighter any day. I also like liquid product. I really love the Say Beauty liquid highlighter and I, I would purchase that any day over this, even though this is like a drugstore product, I prefer that definitely over this one. What, what is wrong with me? Why can I not like hold things? <laughs> but yeah, that's my two cents on this. On the other side, I tried the Milani Conceal and Perfect Blurring Powder and this one is in the translucent shade. Actually, I think they only have the translucent shade. From the time this has landed in my collection, I'm using this continuously every day of my life. I love the packaging that's a sifter and it closes so that it's not like flying everywhere or doesn't like ooze out everywhere. This is so blurring, so blurring underneath the eyes. I actually use it like a finishing powder all across my face too. It's so beautiful. If you are in the market looking for like a blurring powder, which smooths out every texture, the pores on your face, I feel like you are in serious business with this one. I really, really, really love this Milani powder. Definitely, definitely thumbs up from my side. Okay, let's talk about a new brand in the makeup industry. And we're talking about the Ladybug Glow Palette. I had reviewed this. I had done several looks with this offline. I have worn this several times to office. I love this palette. If you love like punchy pastels, you would really love it. Like these tones are so beautiful and soft, but also buildable at the same time. This is super vibrant. This black is the best black I feel like I have in my collection. These two multichromes are stunning. This silver is so punchy, so beautiful. Like the quality of this palette is absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can see that shift or not. Okay, let me just swatch it and show it to you. This is the shade stunning. And this is the shade Wow. These two multichromes. I know that it looks pretty similar, but it definitely feels different on the eyes. This is much more pinky, like the Wow shade, and the stunning is more like red based. Let me see if I can like swatch it and show it to you. It's so smooth and vibrant, but both of them shift to like a green, like a punchy green, but you can totally see like that pink and the red. But can you see that green flip? Oh my God. Can you see that? So pretty. So pretty. 
like stunning let me also swatch like a few other shades so that you can see like the vibrancy and i'll show you that black too this is the red oh my god stunning and look at this black this palette is absolutely beautiful do not sleep on ladybug glow because this brand is there to stay and this is beautiful i would highly recommend this brand especially if you are a person who always wanted to try multi-chrome palettes but you thought like all the palettes are like super expensive and i cannot like get those cleona shadow quality uh, in like a palette like smooth but vibrant multichromes try this this palette is like under 30 dollars you can use the code smithy sony to save 10 percent off on top of that you will thank me later like if you love this color story and if you want to try multichrome this is the palette for you like i cannot wait wait to tell you guys what all they have coming in the future because i love this brand and i'm so excited to see it myself like yeah i cannot wait for it but this palette definitely gets like not one not two like if i had 10 thumbs i'll give it a thumbs up okay now let's talk about a lipstick formula that elf came out with and this is like you know duping the nars audacious lipstick vibes it comes like with a very luxe packaging it has a very soft matte finish and it has like a magnetic closure which is very very luxe for elf and this one i have in the shade drive which is more of a brownie nude formula you know me I love my brownie notes and that is how it looks ignore the other swatches <laughs> but this is like a very comfortable natural finish it's not matte it's not like glossy but it is very smooth and creamy on the lips and i absolutely loved loved wearing this that's not the lipstick that i'm wearing today i'm actually wearing natasha denona's amorosa lipstick right now but it's it's so pretty it's deep but not too deep let me see like look at that it's like a perfect mid-tone shade. It's so pretty. It's really, really pretty. I love, love, love this shade. Like definitely, definitely a must have. If you're looking for like a drugstore formula that performs like high end, this is really pretty. Okay, now let's talk about a liquid liner. And this is uh, new from NYX. And this is their Vivid Brights liquid liner from NYX. And I have the blue version with me. This is in the shade Cobalt Blue, Cobalt Crush. And this is what I have on my eyes today. So... The small line that you see and the dots that you see is basically this. This stays on your eyelid for the longest time. It's so vivid, so bright, so vibrant on your eyes. It's really, really pretty. Now, I don't know if you guys can see it or not just because the shade is a little more deep. It's not like that vibrant and punchy. But I would love to wear this like with just like no makeup on with just like a glossy eyelid and just like this eyeliner and then paired up with like a black tight line. It would be lovely. I would if you want to see this only in like action with like a very simple look. Do let me know in the comment section below. I would love to film it. But this I'm definitely giving it two thumbs up because this formula is absolutely outstanding. Look how thin, thin the bristle is and how vibrant it is let me see if i can swatch it look at that it's so so pretty you can see it can go like thick but that thin at the same time so pretty so pretty would definitely definitely recommend this okay now let's talk about another palette i think this is the first palette that i tried out this year and this did not disappoint me one bit this is the sugar drizzles trashed palette if you like neutral wearable shimmer shades this is an all shimmer palette but if you want to dip your toes into colors this palette is for you this doesn't have like those vibrant shades but it is like muted but colorful at the same time like this is so so pretty i feel like the only colorful colorful or like vibrant shade is this shade but rest everything is like super muted you again need to love your pinks your purples your greens to love this palette but this is so pretty so vibrant in the eyes and you can also create like very neutral looks because they have included this shade and this shade in the palette for very neutral looks this is like a smooth multi-chrome which looks very grungy in the pan right now but it is it shifts to like a vibrant green too i don't know if you can see it or not let me see if i can swatch it because i see like a very grassy green and then you have purples 
you have beautiful sagey minty greens and then you have this vibrant orangey shade like look at that how textured it is and how beautiful it is definitely various various formulas um let me swatch it it's right next to the liner so ignore that this is the smooth multi-chrome this is textural but multi-chrome formula this is also like a very similar formula but not that opaque and this is more like sparkle and shine all throughout it i also wanted to swatch the neutral shade let me do that too i didn't have time <laughs> space to do it these are the two neutrals that they included like one more like rosy the other one more taupey and then look at those shades so beautiful so vibrant really 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 pretty palette really pretty like again if you want texture shine like on your eyes not like super you know blue green uh, red on your eyes but like definitely a little more on the muted side you would absolutely love it now see i wiped off all my eyeshadow with the terry cloth you can still see that liner that's how long lasting that liner is you need a makeup wipe to take it off like be prepared <laughs> and last certainly not the least the last palette that i have to talk about it blew me away like it just blew me away because i have tried them before but this formula they definitely have stepped up to another notch and i'm talking about simply posh cosmetics and this is their berry icy palette oh my goodness simply posh cosmetics doesn't do any coupon code so i don't have any i don't think anybody has a coupon code right now but i know that they are working on it this no matter what if you have a coupon code or not if you love the color story of the berries like blues and these like grapey tones <laughs> this is stunning like absolutely stunning like I would say the shades that you see in the pan and I know that you can see the shifts in the pans too but when you put this baby on your eyes this pops like a crazy person like I love it like all these multi-chromes are so vibrant so shifty so sparkly on the eyes and these mattes they're vibrant they're beautiful and blendable on the eyes i absolutely am nuts over this mauvey side i love my mauves and i love love each and every shade that was chosen in it and each of them are distinctly different from each other that's the best thing about this side from the blue side i would say i really love like the mints i really love this side the only complaint that i have from this palette is like these two shades are pretty similar to each other at least on my eyes so i would have been happy with one or the other like yeah that's the only complaint but everything it's stunning like absolutely stunning on the eyes i cannot wait for simply posh to get like more palettes and i cannot wait to see what they have in future for us because this this was kiss worthy it's so beautiful like so 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 very pretty i was extremely happy with all the palettes that i tried this month and these all these new palettes like i I've, i've talked about like five palettes this month all these palettes all these five palettes were stupendous fantastically fantastically performing palettes and i loved each one of them so that was like my speed reviews on all these products that i tried for this month if you want to see this kind of video for the entire year do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post next i generally upload three videos every single week every tuesday thursdays and saturdays at 9 a.m eastern standard time until next time i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys